Hello, friend. Welcome to The Daily Anchor, a short time set aside for encouragement in your day. We're so glad you've joined us. Here's Pastor Randall. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. Greetings from Boston. Last night, Shelly and I pulled out a game that we learned a few years ago called Ticket to Ride. And uh, you may have uh, seen this game, uh, played it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, We decided to have a tournament this week. And uh, last night was able to get the win. Uh, Shelly has informed me that she's seeking revenge tonight. She's very competitive, so I'm probably in, in big trouble tonight as we play the game. Uh, but uh, just the idea of uh, getting a ticket and riding somewhere, flying somewhere, it sounds super appealing right now. We're week seven into the quarantine here in Boston. And uh, I was reminded of a scripture that I read a few days ago, actually, that really spoke to me about the enemy that we can face. And enemies come in all shapes and sizes. They come in uh, in different seasons, different ways. And I'd like to just read one verse from Psalm 110. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Now what this tells me is that we are to rest in the Lord while he is working on our behalf. The enemies that we face right now are not like David faced. They're not a physical army come against us. But we have enemies such as fear, the enemy of isolation, of separation. We have the enemy of fear over maybe an insecure job situation. We have fear of the coronavirus, that uh, friends or, uh, or family or maybe even ourselves, we could contract this virus. There's all kinds of options for an enemy right now. Many of us are facing the enemy of grief, of mourning, which is still an enemy in this life. And what we are told to do here is to rest in the Lord, that we would allow ourselves to quiet our spirit until the Lord makes the enemies that we face our footstool. What is a footstool? It's something that we have dominion over. It's something that we just rest our feet on. We are in a superior uh, authoritative position over that which we have faced. But we don't win the, the victory ourselves. We don't win the battle. It's like Second Chronicles 20. That this battle we do not have to face. The battle is the Lord's. So I encourage you to rest in the Lord today, to allow the Lord to uh, come and work uh, in your situation, whatever enemy you may face right now, and take it easy, take a, pull back, breathe, uh, allow the Lord to work uh, for the victory, and there will be a day that, that the enemies that we face will be our footstool. Rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord until he makes your enemy your footstool. Have a great day. God bless you. And we hope to see you here tomorrow. God bless. Thanks for joining. We hope to see you again tomorrow.